Good day, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on November 12th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Grateful to have you here. Welcome to the Daily Do. Giving you your space weather update as well, earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Start now here looking at the last seven days of imagery on our sun. Sunspot 3141, very active as we've seen three M-class solar flares and six C-class solar flares over the past 48 hours. That's right, very active region indeed. Having a closer look at the cresting imagery coming in. Not too much to talk about, except for in the last few images there, possible sunspot developing. Looking in the outgoing position, plasma whipping around and looping around ahead of this very active sunspot. Look at that little solar flare frenzy going on right now. Active sun indeed. Closer look at the sunspot regions. Earth facing position and firing away right at us. That top sunspot region is very big. Solar X-ray flux right now is in a heightened C range. Just saw a C-class solar flare. We've seen three M-class and about seven or eight C-class solar flares. Geomagnetic activity slightly heightened at two. KP index, having a quick look here at LASCO 2. This is the last seven days showing all of the sun diving comets that happened this week. There were three of them. And you can see one of them definitely did kind of appear to explode into the sun. That one right there as Mercury comes out the other side. Take a quick moment to thank everybody. I appreciate the loyalty and support to the channel. Keeping humanity aware and prepared. Solar events coming our way. Schumann resonance for today is a power of nine. Quick glance at the telemetry here. Quality of 6.7, amplitude of nine, and a power of six. Now let's get to earthquakes. We did have another large earthquake, this time in Fiji. It's been bouncing back and forth all week. Fiji region, 7.0 earthquake this morning, 587 kilometer depth. Aftershocks have continued this morning and did throughout the day. But just look at all the earthquakes here. The last four days, 6.8 ranging up to 7.2 magnitude earthquakes right across Fiji and up into Tonga, waiting for something to blow there. Overlooking Banda Sea, Indonesia plate, up into the Philippines plate. Very active. As well, east of Krakatoa, 5.2 and a 4.8. As the alert level was raised today for Krakatoa. Minor activity through Taiwan, 4.7 there, Bonin Islands region. As well, a pretty deep earthquake here off the coast of Russia. 4.6 earthquake here, eastern Sichuan, Sichuan, China. As well, a 5.2 Nepal. And we've seen about three or four large earthquakes through Nepal this week. 4.6 there, Afghanistan. And as well, a rare earthquake here, 4.9 Algeria at a 10 kilometer depth. Quiet across the South American plate. Only 4.2 here, Chile, Bolivia border to report. Caribbean plate, largest through the region was a 3.8 Dominican Republic, 132 kilometer depth, and a 5.8 here, Masagua, Guatemala, 99 kilometer depth, Cocos plate. Across the North American plate, up into the United States, Wyoming seeing a 3.5, as well, Utah, 3.6. And a 3.0 here in southern Idaho. Petrolia, California, 3.4. Other than that, no major swarms to talk about. Overlooking Hawaii, nothing major to report there either. And Alaska seems to be quieting down a, a bit. And a 
quick glance here at the last seven days for earthquakes. Most active region being Fiji and Tonga. Waiting for that to spread northwest through the Philippines plate and up into the Indian plate where we've seen a lot of earthquakes. Nepal and up into India. Pretty quiet South Sandwich Islands for my liking. Might see something big there soon, but still expecting North American plate, some kind of release. Heads up, stay aware and prepared. Now let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery around the world, as well the most recent volcanoes getting updated. Paquetatol in Mexico, Sabancaya in Peru, Sangue in Ecuador, Reventador in Ecuador, Fuego in Guatemala, Tsunami watches going out across the Pacific, Alaska, Hawaii, BC, US border. That was from the 7.0 this morning. Nevada's to Ruiz, Colombia, Krakatoa, Indonesia, as well as Fictitis 2 in South America, Dokono in Indonesia. And a quick look around the world here. This is about where Fictitis is, south of Sabancaya. Big storm heading into the Atlantic provinces right now. Heavy rains, strong winds. Tropical Depression 28 is alive in the Central Pacific. <clears throat> Looks like it'll be heading straight north. Excuse me. And as well, monsoon rains through Indonesia this week. Overlooking Europe. Big band of rain developing along the convergence line over Italy right now. And rain moving into parts of North Africa. Now let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by Venture Sky, put together here with daily events worldwide. Tropical storm, remnants of tropical storm Nicole is right over the Atlantic provinces right now. As I said, heavy rains, strong winds to continue. And snow on the backside for a lot of Quebec and Ontario. Lake effect snow falling across Ontario, southern Ontario, and up into Manitoba. Watch for a Colorado low here to develop by Monday. Snow will be falling in parts of northern Texas, Oklahoma, and possibly Arkansas as that system heads eastward. Low pressure system raking up northeastern seaboard. And snowy conditions and cold conditions definitely settling in across Canada. Lingering flurries there with a trough line through Alberta and Saskatchewan. Other than that, pretty dry across the prairies. Most of the systems are developing through the south and up into Ontario. Overlooking the Atlantic provinces, no major tropical systems developing over the next few days. Heavy rain bands, though, heading into Venezuela, northern Colombia, South America, north of Buenos Aires. Got that low pressure system coming through, going to bring some extreme weather, possible torrential downpours in some areas. Africa. Heavy daily evaporation rains stretching right down to parts of South Africa. Overlooking Europe, low pressure center, eastern, and as well, as I said, trough line, watching moisture move through the Mediterranean this week before the big systems start to penetrate the coastline right over Ireland. Low pressure system coming in for next Wednesday. Overlooking Southeast Asia and the West Pacific. No major tropical systems developing. Heavy rains, daily evaporation rains through Indonesia, Malaysia. And as well, low pressure system heading into India, long range forecast. Overlooking Australia, Sunday into Monday, 
You've got your system moving southward towards New Zealand. But then by Thursday, Friday, more central regions will see the rain. Leave you with a quick look here over the Pacific Ocean, watching these systems heading up into North America. Much love, everybody. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please consider leaving a like and sharing with your friends and family. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.